tomato. Mm -hmm. It's not. Today I'm about to go on a food tour, it's Sunday, and the food tour is going to be in pretty much Central, it's like a colonial downtown food tour, and this is my second food tour that I've been on. I love food tours. Every time I go somewhere, I have to go on a food tour because that's really why I'm going to the city or the country is to try their different foods, and so far Ecuador's food has been really, really good, so I'm pretty excited. So in Quito, Ecuador, on Sundays, they shut down the road so that people can ride their bikes. I can show you. I'm riding their bikes right now. You see, people are riding their bikes. So because of that, the traffic, a lot of times, is pretty bad because it's a lot of waiting. So. I'm gonna go ahead and order my Uber and um, yeah, get ready to go to the central area. But I'm gonna do my best to record. This is, this is gonna be my first time like intentionally vlogging my experience of a food tour. I didn't bring my um, jacket and I don't know if I need it to. <laughs> so I had to get dropped off because like I said, the streets are closed. Last time I came here, it was so cloudy and it was raining. So hopefully I can get a good picture with the statue. Gorgeous week and weekend is holy, rain, cloud. We're by the San Francisco church. After I met up with my tour guide, Yarira, at the Independence Square, we walked around and Yarira told me about the history of Old Town Quito, which is actually recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is one of the best preserved and least altered historic centers in Latin America. We also walked to a local restaurant and that's where we started our food tasting. We ate an empanada, we had different fruits, and I also tried colada morada. The basilica. The basilica is a nice place if you want to uh, walk up to the top. Mm -hmm. You can walk. It's empanada de verde. Verde. The other color is more warm. They start using. Uh, cumin, salt for the cuisine, sugar, milk, so, más adelante, so, later, like two hundred when we were in the Republic, we start adding uh, lactose to the And things like because I only work with small business and all women only, well, it has to be family owned or women only, only running the business. When they have to make their own food, they own food, they cannot buy and stuff from other people. So she makes uh, everything from scratch. Some 
sometimes also in the coast. And this is called naranjilla. Oh, it looks like a tomato. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's pretty close for me, but it's not. And uh, this is a, now you can touch it. It's not spike. It has a lot of spikes. The, the, the outside? Yeah. And it's, oh, fruits is furry. It's full of furry. You can't touch it with this. Just harvest it. The plant is a bush with like spikes like this size on the stem. Mm -hmm. But the fruit, uh, I like the smell of this fruit. I'm starting. Oh, it smells, um... It smells like a kiwi. <laughs> Which is anise, and this is clove, Cloves. and this is all spice. All spice, yes. And this is a bunch of herbs from it. Oh, this also. Citron and... Look at that. <laughs> it's like a calabita. Yeah, really that was really good. It's like a warm fruit salad or like yeah. a warm smooth. It's also a, a sweet soup. Uh, yeah, I do like it. Not that hot. You can taste the herbs in there. Yeah. It's a lot of juices. Just from Naranjilla, mm -hmm. from Mora, from Motinho. And the tea with the herbs, pineapple skin, and all these uh, spices. Plus the cornflour to make it stick. So the color comes from this plant and Mortinho. Mortinho is very strong. Like, How long does it take to make? Like three hours? The, you have the whole, it could be a like half day because. Oh, half a day? Be, between. It's uh, made it with corn flour and wheat and grandmas that used to add in a glass, a cup of whiskey. Whiskey? <laughs> But in the business, you sort of do that, do that because you will get very expensive. So it's a cake, is it's it? It's sort of like a cake. Okay. A corn cake, but with the leaf, the the flavor change a lot. Okay. This leaf maker. So you mix. You have to mix a lot to make it fluffy. Very able. It's a lot of work for that. And we have. It tastes like a cake. I mean, it is like a cake. It tastes like... Kind of tastes like a pound cake. This is good. But it's not that sweet. It's not as sweet as a pound cake. Isn't this beautiful, y'all? <laughs> but so many people thought it was controversial. It is gorgeous. Which I understand because you gotta like respect the culture, but look at Pikachu. <clears throat> that one's nice too, that one. Oh, he's a, he is painting. I'm gonna ask him. Oh, he's painting right now. <laughs> so like last week he was and today because the sun is up, people just come with bikes and come to check out. Mm. So in this, also in this neighborhood, there's, uh, because there are a lot of churches, there's mm -hmm. some people that used to work in um, candles. They used to make a lot of candles, so people take the candles to the church. Like some Alfred. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, that's the candle? That is the candle thing. Oh, I see, I see. And, well, 
This is beautiful. <laughs> this is also her sticker. <laughs> She's an artist. Thank you. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> The Virgin of the Clouds. It's a performance during Holy Week with Christmas Christi. Those guys, they cover up his face because they are sinners and they are full of shame. Mm. So this, this is the shame, the custom of shame. Now they rent for businesses. Is this the one with the one that the nuns made? Yeah. Okay. Um, you have to handle with care because although it looks hard candy, inside it's liquid. So you can crush it when it's inside your mouth. You can. If you crush just half, it's gonna stop. Oh. Mm. <laughs> the nuns. Not the nuns. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying caca de perro. That's good. The other one I did not like. The other one is a yellow food. But this is So they have whiskey, tequila. The first one I tried is like the outside is a, a hard candy, and then the inside just has nothing, just straight alcohol in it. I didn't, I didn't care for that. Guanabana. Guanabana. This is pretty much the end of the tour. Yadida explained to me how the ice cream makers make their ice cream, which is by taking salt, hay, and ice and placing it underneath this big bowl. Then they add liquid to it. It could be a fruit juice or it can be like a cream for, you know, regular ice cream. And they mix it really well. I want to say it takes like 45 minutes to get this lovely ice cream i end up getting the one with fruit juice in it because i don't consume dairy uh, but yeah after this i ended up getting something to eat and that was pretty much the end of this tour i really enjoyed this tour yadida was a great host and i booked this tour on airbnb experience so i will leave the title in this video So we got beef, I think these are pinto beans, and then rice with lentils. And it was pretty good. So I'm headed to the basilica. And then from the Basilica, I'm gonna go get an Uber. These paint. <laughs> I'm in this shop that sells uh, ponchos. I really wanted a poncho. 
the one with the mask on it, and I was able to... GPS signal lost. They have the cutest, like, llama stuff. So I was able to find me a poncho. Mine's is red, it kinda looks like this. But mine's is red though. That'll be it. That's all I'm get. Yes. I'm at the Basilica. And I'm just gonna wait here until I can get an Uber. Because it's kind of hard to get an Uber down here. Because of how they have the streets closed off. So, yeah. not that many people here today. And I just left the gift shop. I got me a scarf. I got me two scarves. I'll show them later. But yeah, I'm gonna get my Uber and then probably head back to my Airbnb and then go to the mall. All right, so I'm back from my tour. I'm in my apartment. And poncho I got. I love the the face that they have on it. I gotta figure out what this is exactly. Uh, my tour guide she told me, but um, I gotta look it up myself. It's beautiful. It was twenty eight dollars, and this scarf was three dollars. And then. I think this was five. Yeah, this was five dollars. Yeah. Um. So I got that. This is. Hmm. What is this? I know it has condensed milk in there, in the middle. So I'm a. Uh, I'm probably not gonna eat the middle part. I want to say this is guava on the outside plus, you know, some sugar. And I'm going to try it later. I've had a lot of sweets today. And then I bought this chocolate. Look at the lady on there. It's gorgeous. So I bought this chocolate. My tour guide gave me this. And the artist. So I'm going to put the artist... Yeah, I'm tired. So the artist who did the mural, she had gave us these stickers, which is so cute. I also got these. It's supposed to be sugar on the outside, and then it's peanuts in the middle. I'm going to try that later. I've had a lot of sweets today. I'm back to the apartment to get my bags. Normally, I, every time I go on a tour, I always take these bags with me because they're they can fit in my purse, and I never know what I'm going to buy. So instead of me putting everything in my purse, I'll always bring these bags with me. I'll roll them up and put it in my bag. But yeah, my phone is charging. Also, maybe going on a tour tomorrow. I'm not sure. My tour guide for Wednesday messaged me and said, ask if I can do the tour tomorrow, which is Monday, So which is fine by me. I'm here for a whole month, so it's okay with me. Um, so yeah, I'll have to get ready for that. And yeah, I'm about to get ready to go to the mall. So I lied. I'm going to try this candy. It has a uh, sugar on the outside and then uh, a peanut in the inside.
That's a lot of sugar. Oh, baby. Oh. It reminds me, in Mexico, they have this, these peanuts that on the outside, they're red. It's a hardened, it's a caramel coating on the outside. And it's like a roasted peanut on the inside. That's what these remind me of. It tastes good, but baby, that's a lot of sugar. It's good though. Yeah, I'm not gonna try the rest of this. I'll try the rest of this candy later. <coughs> I'm gonna wait for that to charge and then I'm gonna go to the mall. So I'm at the La Carolina Park. I thought this was the same. It looks like the same design as what I saw on the tour, but it's just the same colors. It's not the same design. So. And there's so many different trees in this part. Like, you can see a palm tree, you can see, I'm not gonna start naming trees because I don't know all the different type of trees, but it's a lot of different trees in this park. It's beautiful. I love this park. There's dogs everywhere. They have like a little concert. And then they got people who are on bikes and they're skating. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many dogs. Oh my god, there's so many dogs out here. There are so many people in the mall. I didn't even stay in the mall that long. I ended up leaving. And I also forgot to close out this vlog. So that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. My next vlog will be to the Pigichi Waterfalls and to the Koi Kocha Lake. So make sure you check out that video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like it. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.